What do you guys think is the conversation we need to have? Pay attention. Because this thing is the main reason that is causing gender-based violence. With the introduction of the internet, the education and everything, yeah. I would like to think that most people are educated. But for some reason, they still do this resistance. Oh, do you think we are educated as we say, or we are illiterate, we can read and write? But then we forget into just a little bit of science. The science. Say, we're diving into the testicle. Yeah. The, the interesting thing, thing is that. Welcome to Podmic Podcast. I'm your host, Tembani, joined by my two co-hosts, Genius and Sean. Genius, what's up? How are you, bro? How is you? I'm good, I'm good. How's been your week? Ah, three your thing. All is well? All, All is, is well. well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I appreciate it. Sean, how are you? How's it? How's been your week? How's life? Your relationships? Uh, week has been terrible. Uh, we're supposed to write a test yesterday, mm -hmm. but yeah, it got Made micro. Made micro. Uh, yeah. yeah. So it's, it's made school. All I can say is med school is not for everyone. I mean, honestly, honestly, and I know I'm not the only one who shares this. I just hope we, we don't to, write this exam. We yeah. need to get it. Yeah. <laughs> we pray. <laughs> I hope we, we don't write this yeah. exam. Med school vibes. Okay, we're always so, praying, yeah? All right, cool. So uh, today, today's topic, we're going to talk about the gender of the child. Yeah. Who determines the gender of the child and the consequences associated with that myth. So the question I'm going to pose to you guys first is... What do you guys think is a conversation we need to have about okay. the Smith? What do you think us is guys? And I mean, of course, at some point we're going to have kids. So us is men. What do you think is important for us to have this conversation about the gender of the child? Well, I think it's really a great gamble between the male and the female in a family setup. Because this thing is the main reason that is causing gender-based violence. In the families and you know the effects of gender-based violence it can lead to trauma and it may culminate into divorce cause and divorce and yeah. people end up separating just because we didn't know who was responsible for the sex of the children so they ended up blaming each other you are the one who is responsible for this blah 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 things like that yeah, yeah, that's, that's, yeah. That's, true. that's true on the other hand uh, you mentioned divorce uh, sometimes they might not necessarily divorce, but sure. the marriage is, is, is broken already. Yeah, like people yeah. just staying together yeah. because they're, they're not together. They're yeah. cohabitating. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Uh, the man ends up, um, let's say, for example, the, the man has got three kids, but they're all females. Sure. They're all girls. So it's like, <coughs> so my wife is giving me females. Then he goes, let me go and experiment outside. He goes and experiments. He finds a side chick. He finds uh, maybe another wife. And somebody, some of the boys end up looking for either the sister, I don't know what it is. <laughs> yeah, the sister, sister or the, yeah, she or the, or the yeah. friend. <laughs> but you know, like, on that point, on that point, it's, it's quite fascinating to me yeah. because for whatever reason, when the man moves out of the house yeah. and finds a side chick or whoever he sleeps with, for. for whatever reason, you will get that male child. Like, like yeah. why do you think it happens like this? I think this is a mathematical thing. Mm -hmm. Like probability, exhaustive events. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a true or false situation in head or a child. So by, by looking for another side chick or another wife, you're simply increasing the chances. So it's just a numbers thing. It's, it's, it's like just a a, yeah, it's just a gamble it's just thing. A gamble. Yeah, sure. It's almost like you're going to Moors. <laughs> <Mose. laughs> <Mose. laughs> so they're playing Moors with women. Yeah, right? giving your ticket and like, I, I, I need to get something. Okay, 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 okay. I get yeah. it. I get it. So um because with the introduction of the internet and the mm -hmm. education and everything yeah i would like to think that most people are educated right now more yeah. people are going to schools more people are going to colleges but for some reason they still there's this resistance ignorance so you think ignorance is responsible for for just people not wanting to acknowledge the fact that no any child is a child and you don't really have to blame anyone or 
do, do you think we are educated as we say or we are illiterate we can read and write so you are saying Zimbabweans can only uh, correct me if I'm wrong I mean <laughs> are you saying Zimbabweans can only read and write but we can't think I, I believe we need to separate reading and writing from education you might be able to draw some letters I, A, E, O, U, but you are not educated. So you can't think. You can't think. You're dumb. And you, you can't understand some certain facts on, a, on, on any topic, but you can read and write on them, but uh, to, to, to digest it. I mean, he's probably trying to pad his opinion, but I really believe you're saying Zimbabweans are dumb, they cannot read and write. Let's see in the comment section. <laughs> I don't think the comment I really, I really don't think the comment section <laughs> is going to be polite to you, but hey, you know what? That's 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 your point. That's yeah. your point. That's the way point. people read. You think Bobbins are down. <laughs> <laughs> they can read it. They can read and write. Anyway. Yeah. So because the reason why I'm saying that is uh mm-hmm. with all of that education, people are still resistant to it. Yeah. So maybe if we get into just a little bit of the science. Science. Just science part. <laughs> just a little bit. To just explain the what science. is really going on. Yeah. So okay, uh, can you can you, you just take us into just a little don't please don't go into a rabbit hole. Dive okay. into the testicles. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Need to dive. Let, let's get let's straight into the, the testicles and see what's going on there. Yeah. So like I said, we're diving into the testicles. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. So when we when it comes to gender, uh it's almost a fifty fifty day. Please make it more layman. We yeah, understand you a bit, Sudi. Okay, I, I hope you can understand. But uh, I was like I was saying, it's a fifty-fifty thing. So that you get a male or you get a female. Yeah. If we go down to the blueprint, we want to see what makes up a male, what makes up a female. We've got two chromosomes that we that we have. We've got the X and the Y. Is it like the Wingy D song X Y Z? <laughs> you have one to <laughs> Too many X's. Uh, anyway, so let me say that for the X and the Y. Yeah. So for you to be a female, you need, you need to have two X's, a male, uh, an X and the Y. And fun fact that whenever we are being, well, when, when the embryo is, is developing, everyone starts off as a female, which means uh, for some, which means the default setting. Is to be a female, and okay. then you transition to be a male. So all so, of us at some point we were females. So all of us okay. were females. Interesting. So now the question is, how did you then change to, to become a male? That's when the Y chromosome comes into play. Right. It's got this gene that we call the SRY gene. So mm-hmm. the SRY gene, layman's term, is basically the sex determined gene. So, so, so yeah. if people are to pray, they should probably pray for the. Yes, our gene to come. Yes, and pray. <laughs> so, so, <laughs> so, are we, so we are saying you have to hope for the meat for the female, but pray for the male. Yeah, because the course. male it can or cannot happen, but the default one is yeah, the female. Yeah, exactly. So it, simple, yeah. it means buying pink or blue lies in the SRI gene. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's like a voting okay, for the SRI gene. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Your hopes, the SRI okay, Thanks okay. for the SRI gene. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So, um, so yeah, uh, into so to support the point that the default setting results in a female, mm-hmm. we've got this genetic disease that we call Turner syndrome. For okay. and most of them are always females. Maybe, maybe all of them are always females. Yeah. And those guys, they only have X and Y, X and Z. Okay. X and Z mean they have X only. They only have one X chromosome. So it's X oh, what right? are these X's? X's? Are, are they genes? Please, yeah. Mendeleev. <laughs> <laughs> Mendeleev. <laughs> <laughs> These are chromosomes. Okay. So chromosomes they, they carry your genetic information. Yeah, the, your DNA is called your genetic information. Your chromosomes they especially DNA that's bundled up to to make to just compress the information into a, a simple thing. I think for the sake of our listeners, mm. you have said about a chromosome and gene gene, gene DNA. like you're shortening a... my name, genius. Maybe <laughs> 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 I'm talking lot. about <laughs> Calvin Clay genius. <laughs> <laughs> But, but yeah, genes. Yeah. In simple terms, a gene is just, a, I would say, a strand of DNA that codes for a specific protein. So which means all the proteins that you have came from genes. So you need to activate a gene to get a protein. Okay. And these yeah. proteins are now responsible for forming whatever organ, whatever, whatever. Yeah. But in, it this is the protein. Now. The protein was the SRY gene. What did it do? It 
it it it will end up in the production of testosterone, which we know is the male hormone. Right, it's so responsible mm-hmm. for the physical. Yeah, then you makeup. end up becoming the, the, the masculinity that we have. So all lies in the S R G. So we should pray for the S R G because it's all it's a fight. It's a, it's a it's a gamble between the X and the Y community. If you go back to how we end up with the the zygote yep. is we've got an egg and the, the sperm so it's a gamble between the eggs and the y um and the sperm supposedly a male woman produces even numbers between the two but who then wins nobody knows but then that poses another question because yeah. if you look at the numbers the numbers oh, seems yeah. like there are more females than men how that's an interesting one. how can you explain that like i can have five girls yeah, in one like, <laughs> world population, okay. world population, yeah, yeah. Zimbabwean to population. Balance things you need to have. Each male needs to have five ladies. That's how you balance things. Oh, I, I don't have any. I mean, so you are the problem, huh? Okay. These guys are the problem. That's why there are so many. So around, numbers, being please, in the stuff. comment section. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, help my girl. Okay, help my girl. Okay, so um, we have understood the science. Yeah. So if let me preface this by saying. Because this the idea of this podcast is to educate people. Yeah, educate we don't want to leave people in a position where they'll be blaming each other. It's your fault. Yeah, it's your fault. Mm-hmm. But just based off of the science, right? Just based off the science, it's not the female who's responsible. It is the male. Yeah, the male. Why? I'm going to ask you again. Okay. <laughs> Well, it seems like you want to run away from the question. <laughs> I've been running. It's for both of you. It's for both of you. I, I, come on. The idea of this podcast is not to point fingers at anybody, but it's to educate people. Mm-hmm. But in the event that we have to explain to someone who's responsible for the yeah. gender of the child, is it the male or it is the female? It is the male, but I think males don't accept the fact that they are responsible for the sex of children. Why? Because we all know the, the, the type of woman women are. <laughs> so they, they end up yeah. pointing back the fingers to men saying, you are weak, you are not man enough, you yeah. cannot give me a, a, a male child and things like that. So Yeah, what she's saying is actually yeah. true because it needs to be done. I think males need to accept the fact that they are indeed responsible for sex of children mm-hmm. and we are not creators but god is That's true. or the, whatever the creator is whatever the supreme deity is mm-hmm. the creator and what we just have to do is to accept it as it is so be it a girl be it a male can i matter like pink i want to say okay so so don't you think don't you think there are ways because mm-hmm. and it to know what's not around. And Mukatimum people say there are certain things people can do. Do you think there's any science that substantiates it? Like you can eat certain foods, you can walk a certain way in the bedroom, you can do certain things yeah. to, to, to help you get a male child. Do you think it's possible? Are there any things that us people can do to help us get the child that we want? Because I'm I mean I'm on the same boat with you. Yeah. I agree. A child is a child. A male child, female a female child. child. It's a gift, man. Yeah, I mean, it's okay. It's a child is a child. But is there anything to support what people say? That there are certain things you can do, lifestyle behaviors and activities you can do to help you get a male child. Uh, looking to what Sean said, mm-hmm. this is yeah, something of a genetic thing. Mm-hmm. And it's all genetic. Like a meaning sex determination is all genetic. And indeed, well, there's nothing you can do. Okay. So, I mean, it's just a side track, okay? We really don't want to go deep, deep into this. Mm-hmm. But yeah. you mentioned something about fertilization and sex being determined at fertilization. Mm-hmm. So, when people are bought, what are they aborting? What exactly are they aborting? Is it a child? Is it a ball of cells? What's going on? A blastocyst. <laughs> <laughs> it is a blastocyst. Huh? Uh, that question, even we can't even answer that question because I remember um, last year 
we yeah. had a debate as a group. Yeah. But in, when does the soul come into play when someone is this fit? Does the soul come when someone is fertilized or is it during birth? So we are ah, interesting, interesting. So in closing, in closing, in closing, what do you guys have to say to the people? Do you have any tips? Any interesting facts? Any interesting facts before we close? Yes. So I think Kuti Vanababa should just accept the fact that Kuzar Wabimanaskana Vanababa Ruanza my ex. <laughs> Too many exes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. Warukisa my ex okay. Akawanda. And they should not get into the side chick thing, the side chick pandemic that we are now having. And if we have fathers looking for side chicks just because they are looking for a male child, you know, <clears throat> this is all ingrained in our African culture. This kukuza zinza thing. Yeah, 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 that's they true. believe the male child carries the name of the family. And sort of the A. Yeah, no, so like they should the just a. know that the male child and the female child they are just equal. We are not campaigning for human rights, of course. <laughs> Equality thing, yeah. <laughs> yeah and I'm, 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 I'm not going to go there. But, you know, I was about to close, but Sean said something very interesting <laughs> before we started the show. Can you please just share with the audience? Well, in my research, I found something very interesting about the Y chromosome. Like you said before, the Y chromosome is the one that has the SRY gene, which is what the gene that would determine the sex of the child. But some studies are saying that in the long term, for <laughs> some odd reason, the Y chromosome has a tendency to lose some of its genes. Which means, as time goes on, maybe the world may only have females. Man, there's going to be a full <laughs> world female <laughs> Whoa. I will be crazy. there that time. <laughs> <You'll> be there. <laughs> <laughs> wow, the ratio of the Y is to, one is to 50 now. That's yeah. crazy. That, that's For real? Uh, what, what's that? Equatorial Guinea man. <laughs> that will be me. <laughs> so guys, that was our podcast for today. I hope my did something. Um sure. mwana mwana. <laughs> and if you do anything. Yeah. At the end of the day, mana mwana, mwana 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 And you can pray for the SRI. <laughs> yeah, I mean, pray for the SRI. <laughs> 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 so um we'll be posting our episodes every Wednesday, Thursday. Yeah, Every Wednesday and Thursdays, that's when we'll be posting our episodes. Mm-hmm. Hope you guys you follow, you subscribe, you like, you share. Um thank you. We out. Peace. Bye bye. Till we meet again. Rest in peace. Oh, 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 o